Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, let's talk about your favorite topic, options. I'll be talking about potential options setup, the key areas where I will start a position for my Tesla options. I'll also be talking about a slight change of strategy for my Tesla options. Now let me repeat again that options is a time instrument and it is a probability game. So there is a few changes to my strategy. I do so because I'm not bullish on the stock market for the next few months. And these are the key reasons why I'm not bullish on the equity market, summarized in a few points. So there is war, interest rate hikes that may change drastically, quantitative tightening, multipolar world, possibility of recession, commodity shortages, and risk of hyperinflation. So how I'm going to change my option strategy is that I will do two types of options. I will sell put option and I will use my Tesla shares as collateral to sell covered call. I only do sell call for Tesla because I'm not bullish on the market for the next few months. So in this environment, I'm hardly going to leverage. And if I do leverage, it is going to be minimal amount of risk. When I sell call option, I'm putting 100 of my Tesla shares as collateral. There is no cash required. I don't have to come up with additional cash. So I'm on zero leverage when I do covered call. When I sell put option, I'm guaranteeing to buy 100 Tesla shares. I've been keeping cash reserves up so that I don't leverage much. My objective is to farm premiums and to do it in a low risk way. So number one, I don't want my shares to be caught away when I sell call option. And number two, I don't want to buy options when I sell put option. So how am I going to do this? I will do this through choosing the strike price very carefully. So for you guys to visualize, Tesla is at $962 now. If Tesla share price were to continue falling, it sets up a good low risk entry for me to sell a put option. When stocks fall and crash, the volatility is high. When there is high volatility, there is high premium. So to even further lower my risk, I'll place a strike price far away from the trading price. So let's take a look at the Tesla technical chart that I drew before and try to find the safest area which I can sell put option at. Keep a lookout. So let me just show you where's the price level. So point of extreme is 550. Then the next support area is 664, 690, 760 is the next resistance or support. So I would prefer to sell put option at $760, 690 or 660. These are the key support areas. Okay, let's take a look at the Tesla options. We will take a look at the 32 days. And we see from my safe point of entry, which is about 760. So for 760 strike price, you can ask for a thousand dollar premium now. At the current trading price of $962. So my goal is I want to get the premium of 1.5k. So 1.5k USD is about 2k Sing dollars. I will wait for the price to crash further and I will sell a put option of at least 1.5k. So that's what I'm looking for. It is a high probability that I will get a full premium and it's a very low risk trade. And because it is a very low risk trade, I won't be exposed with too much leverage. And if given the opportunity that premiums are expensive to purchase, I'll consider buying leaps or long-term buy call option on Tesla if it trades below $760. So in the scenario, Tesla runs up from $962, breaking back up to $1,145. I will sell covered call with a strike price of $1,003 and above. The goal is just to farm premium, take a little bit of risk. So when I'm looking to set up my options trade like this, I'm predicting that Tesla will trade in a range between $700 to $1,002 for a while. So besides the macro environment affecting the share price of Tesla, I think there are some issues with Tesla's fundamental as well. If you take a look at Tesla's fundamental, there are some stuff that delays Tesla's progression. To bring up Tesla's valuation, Tesla in the short term needs to produce as much cars as possible while solving FSD as fast as possible. But what I'm seeing now is that there are a lot of factors slowing down car production. For example, Germany's bureaucracy slowing down the opening of Giga Berlin for months. It only opened recently. China is also strict on their COVID policy and they locked down Shanghai Giga Factory for close to a week. And last year 2021, there were already chip shortages for manufacturing. This problem still stretches to 2022. Another problem I see is that nickel and lithium prices as raw material are costing much more than before because of war and money printing. All the other raw material costs that increase may affect the profitability of Tesla cars. Therefore, in the short term, I think Tesla will trade in a ranging market instead of a trending market. So this is just my view, I'm sharing transparently and I hope this helps you. Do help me out by liking this video and subscribing to my channel so that I can reach 1500 subs. Thank you and I'll see you next week.